guys and welcome to my video. Um, you just can't okay. I, I have terrible lighting today. Um, yeah, it looked a lot better before I set the camera. <sighs> I never count good lighting. Alright, so today we are doing a... Oh, yeah, a cat Oween series baking treat. So, we are going... I have my Stuckianos. And this is, I got this off of a YouTube video. Um, so yeah. So we're going to start with, we need, okay, I'm a little, my brain's not thinking. We're going to need 36 Oreo cookies. I bought two packages. I'll let you know if it's enough or not. And I bought the mint flavored ones. Because I figured they're green, they... And I like mint, and I figured they'd taste good. Where is my yellow food coloring? Alright, so I'm going to be having to, like, squat down or something. Alright, let's see. I think it's fair now. Alright, I still have terrible lighting. I had good lighting for, like, a split second. Of course, I wasn't recording, so. Alright, I found my yellow food coloring. It's gel food coloring. I don't know which one's going to work best. I just got that. I, that's all I have, so. Also, I have some flower sprinkles. Not really fall colors, but it's all I have. You're also going to need one 8 ounce cream cheese. I have to remember what it was. You're also going to need some candy melts. Mine are in one, one white. Duh. And they're by Wilton. Right. Um, so. Also optional is the food coloring and you can also optionally get uh, cake pop sticks. I have cake pop sticks, but I want to make these little truffle balls, not cake pops. By the way, I should mention, we're making Oreo truffies, truffies, truffles today. Also, you're going to need some bags if you want to crush your Oreos in a bag. Or oh, you can use a food processor or a blender, but a blender is not, like, I've tried Crushing Oreos in a blender, it doesn't really work. You're also going to need hey, something heavy to crush them with. And I chose this plan. Pan. So we're just going to go bang, bang, bang on the Oreos. So we're going to move all of this aside and crush our Oreos. Now I'm going to count 36 and let you know how many packages it takes. Okay, my bag of Oreos here. Um, I'm gonna need no, like a little bit no air in it. Also, the smell is toothpaste because it's so minty, but I love these ones. Mm -mm. But it took one whole package. Whoa, that's minty. And six of the other. So now. We are going to crush. <laughs> Not that violently. <laughs> you guys fell. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop filming when I do this because otherwise you guys are gonna fall every single time. But we're just gonna crush up our Oreos. Some precautions to take while crushing Oreos. Make sure that you are not smacking too hard to make anything fall over in your house or near where you're crushing to make it break. Also, make sure your bag is fully zipped. Also, if you crush a little too hard, your bag will start to make dents, therefore eventually getting a hole and popping open. Also, some things you want to watch for. If it looks crushed, it's more than likely not crushed all the way. And there is the cream still, so it's going to be a little bit creamier. Like, that just helps make the ball. And also, these are no big recipe. I should mention that. Um, but there are holes because I can crush out the air now. So, I'm rolling into a log like so. Just to, and you want, and you don't want it, like, powdery, even though, like, it's going to be chunkier than if you put in a food processor. So, if you do, are doing a food processor, yours is going to look differently. And you can use whatever kind of Oreo you want. You can use red velvet. You can use, I should probably show you my face. To put one. You can use birthday cake. I was considering birthday cake. Ugh. 
Stand up. All right, that's better. Yeah. So, uh, oh, so you can use anything you want, really. I'm gonna leave my chin on here. This is actually really comfy. All right, next, I'm gonna get a bowl. All right, so that it's done. Now next, we are going to find our cream cheese. So we're gonna take our cream cheese and open it, and we are going to chunk our cream cheese. Well, chunk. Make chunks in our cream cheese. I'll show you. Okay, so now we are just gonna have, we have our cream cheese open, and what we're gonna do is hold it up so you can see. Is just cut it into small little chunks, just so it's easier to work with. Remember, this is just one block of cream cheese. Philadelphia. That's what I'm using. Um, and it's eight ounces, so one chunk of cream cheese. I love cream cheese so much. Alright. Come on. And also you want this softened. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, it's going to work best softened. So now that we have this all pretty chunk, we're going to bring our Oreos over and throw our cream cheese in our Oreos and just start working our cream cheese in our Oreos. And before my hands get super messy, I'm going to press pause. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so our batter is made and mm, very minty. It tastes very good. Now, I forgot we're going to need wax paper and a baking sheet. Let's get them. So you're going to line your baking tray with the wax paper less terribly than I have. And you're going to, what you're going to do is you're just going to take little balls of your batter mixture stuff. This is like so hard to work with. It's like just liquid Oreos. And you're going to put the little balls on here. And then put in your freezer for one hour, yes. And so I'm going to make all these balls. I'll see you in one hour. No, it has not been an hour, but I figured I'd check, show you guys how they kind of roll away. Okay, well, they're all done. Now I'm going to put them in my freezer for an hour. And you don't want them hard, but you want them just soft enough where you can... She says, by the way, I got this recipe off someone um, on YouTube. I will tell you guys at the end of this video, but she said to put the cake pop stick in. But if you're not putting a cake pop stick in like me because you don't want to, um, then you can just go ahead and make sure they're frozen enough where they're moldable and won't fall apart in your chocolate so let's put these in the freezer okay so it's been one hour and my truffles are completely hardened and they look like this and they smell really weird they smell like really weird cream cheese and then I have a full bag of the candy melts in the microwave um, the first increment is one minute and then the rest of the increments after that increment is 30 seconds and it depends on the wattage of your microwave on how fast it shall melt. After each increment, take out, and even if it doesn't look melted, it could be melted, still, but still holding its form. And you just need to stir it, and you'll figure out if it's melted or not melted. And that's my microwave beeping. So we have a nice arrangement of chocolate now. Okay, so... Um, I went ahead and started them just to get the hang of it, kind of, and I think I got the hang of it, um, so, yeah, I'm just fixing up little blemishes that I made, because it's very easy. So, all I did was I took the ball off of it, I dropped it in the white chocolate, I have a spoon and fork kind of help me cover it. And then, yeah. Okay, so then 
once it's covered in chocolate, I kind of just got it on the fork so the excess would run off. And I just tapped it. And all I do is just scrape it so it doesn't drip. Bring it back to the parchment paper it was on, or wax paper, whatever. And then cover the top where the lines are from the fork with chocolate. And then dump sprinkles all over the place. And then add some sprinkles. And then repeat for all the other balls. I don't even know how many are here. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm just going to say 30 because I probably missed one in there. And this one's already hardened. I'm just going to try and break off a little bit of the piece. Alright, so this one's already hardened. Look at this perfect truffle. It's so pretty. So, I'm going to do this for the rest. I already have five. Now I'm going to do the rest. Okay, so I am all done. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balls without um, chocolate on. Because I ran out of chocolate. So you're obviously going to need a little bit more than two bags and I already tried one because I couldn't resist so this is the inside I keep wanting to go to this side because that's where the camera's normally at but this is the inside and see so yeah it's so creamy now these do need to be refrigerated because there's cream cheese in it um so I'm going to get a plate and put them on the plate and for jam. And they taste a little bit sour right now because there's no cream cheese. <laughs> I mean, because cream cheese isn't cold anymore. So they're really easy to just fix up around the edges. And they look just like little truffles. They're so cute. Now my best one, the one I ate. Oh, that's still tacky, okay. Um, um, I'd have to say actually, this one. So, alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Please thumbs up this video. And also, blah. I need to wash my hands, they're all chocolatey. Also, my cat is licking the fish tank. Okay, um, also please, please, please subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of Cattle Um, and also Vlogmas because I'm doing Vlogmas this year, so I'll be in December, obviously, Christmas vlogs. Um, blah. okay, and I forget my outro. Alright, I will see you guys. In my next video, and comment down below if you're gonna do this. Also, if you do do this, ugh, please um tag me. Or yeah, tag me um on Instagram, and my Instagram will be at the end of this video and down below in the description. Um, if you do this, and also let me know if you're gonna. If you don't have Instagram, you can still let me know in the comments if you're going to do this. Alright, so I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to go do homework now because it's like 8 o'clock at night. And I've been filming this video all day once I got home from school and shopping for this video. And this one is very chunky and looks like a snowball, just saying. Um, and this one's really smooth and nice. They're all different, but the, like they just... Like, there's ones that look like this, and this, and are terrible, and there's ones that are not hardened yet, and by now the other ones would already have been hardened, because they are, like, I had to try and make my own concoction to make it stay together. Like, to make more chocolate. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye. Um...